Hi, this is Alan Gleason for ADSR, and in this video, we're going to be exploring ways of getting swing grooves out of Ableton's arpeggiator. I'm a big fan of this device, and although it seems simple, I'm always finding new and interesting ways of using it. We have a basic beat here with a very repetitive 16 note hi hat pattern. Within the arpeggiator in the groove section, we can change it from straight to have more of a swing groove in terms of 8 note swing, 16 note swing, and 30 second note swing. So I put it to 16 note swing. We can hear that it's swinging more. If I put it to 8 note swing, we get a variation on it. Our gate parameter varies the length of the notes that are being produced. So if I put this to 16th note, it goes from very short notes to more longer notes, depending on the decay and release settings in our sampler. What I discovered is, is that by varying this gate parameter while the pattern is playing, we can get a varying groove happening. Rather than me having to manually do that, there's various modulation tools within Ableton which will allow you control over this. I could just right click on it and click on show automation and draw in a particular groove here. But I'm a big fan of using modulation devices. So I'm going to use the new shaper device that comes with Ableton Live 10 and I'm going to map this to our gate parameter. So we can see that it's changing there. If I dial in some variations here. We can get some shuffle happening there. If I now engage the velocity control, it allows you to re-trigger and put a decay on the MIDI information that's been played. This is the length of the decay, and the target is the note, the note off velocity. If I now engage the re-trigger and put it to beats, this will allow me to set where the where the arpeggiator is re-triggered. So on what note? So on a quarter note, on a, on a three sixteenths, and variations on that. Currently it's repeating to infinity, but I can adjust the number of repeats where if I put it to one, it'll only repeat the arpeggiator every one time, but it's getting re-triggered also. By varying our shaper, Add slightly more variation to the sound, I'm going to make it arpeggiate up a semitone so that every time it arpeggiates through a pattern, we're going to get a variation of the original note and a note of semitone above it. So again, adding a bit more, a bit more life, a bit more groove to it. I could go even further. I've disengaged some of these re-trigger options. Let's apply some of these techniques to our snare drum. Currently on the snare track, I have a note drawn in that's starting at a quarter note and continuing for the rest of the bar. If I go to an arpeggiator. using the same setup. I'm using the re-trigger on a particular note length. Got velocity on. What's giving me the variation in the pattern here is that we can see that it's arpeggiating through other notes. But because there's no note actually there, we're getting a pause or rest. I can 
put Jitter Sample in there somewhere. So we can also apply this technique to a melodic instrument. On our track over here, we have a bass sound playing in the 16 note pattern. So, but this time I've got a chord device before the arpeggiator, which will give us a melodic pattern because I've got C1 drawn in on the clip. Not so much variation, slightly boring. Rather than using the shaper this time, I'm going to use the LFO MIDI, part of the Max for Live Essentials. I'm going to map that to our gate control. The filter and the wavetable synthesizer is obviously set up to respond to velocity. We'll get some variation in the sound. I'll turn on the re trigger. So we're just using these three controls, the gate control, the velocity control, and the retrigger, and assigning some modulation to some of these parameters, either doing it manually through automation, or using devices such as the LFO and the Shaper devices, can bring about a lot of unexpected variation that you can then either just bounce to audio or record the MIDI out onto a separate track for further editing. Hope you enjoyed that. This has been Alan Gleason for ADSR.